Hello everyone, Scotty here from Blue Coconut Family and welcome back to uh, Pneumatic Craft tutorial. Uh, once again, I'm probably going to refer to it a little bit more like Pressure Craft just because it's easier to say and I don't want to get it wrong uh, while recording. But it is called Pneumatic Craft even though it's spelt with a P, because that's how you pronounce it. So last video we looked at the elevator, which was really cool and I hope to see loads of you guys using in your bases and I want to see some photos of those, so post those on my Facebook page uh, Blue Coconut Family or even on our Twitter. Uh, so today we're going to look at another aspect of the pneumatic craft and this is going to be the doors. So we saw a little bit, a little, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of that last week. Last week? A couple of days ago. Whenever you saw the video. Um, and what it is, is basically it's a door system using the air pressure to have open and close and it uses uh, a very nice animation so it's really slow opening and stuff and it has the uh, little levers on the back and it it's a real nice way of um, having a door. It also has a couple of extra features which normal doors don't have. So we can see that on our pneumatic craft house we've got the doors on the front. As I walk close to them you can see that really nice slow animation there. And if I stand back they're they closed. So as I said in the last video these are using a pneumatic door base on the right hand side um, which once again as we saw on the elevator has that um, little user interface, user interface of the GUI as I sometimes refer it as where you've got upgrades and stuff where you can add in uh, security upgrades and volume upgrades same as the elevator, it doesn't have the speed upgrades so you can't make them open in a flash but oh well um, it also has the camo box so that's what I'm using here so we have to camouflage it as a brick wall so that if you've got it as part, like me, a part of a house you don't have an ugly grey block next to your door so everybody knows what it is you also have the um, dial here so it has a, a, um, a lower uh, working range than the elevator so it can work anything from 2 bar up to 5 bar and of course once you get beyond 5 bar then you start having issues of um, it exploding anything under 2 bar it won't work um, and yeah so that's, that's the basic thing I've got a little setup outside just to show you how it comes together so here is the pneumatic door now you're probably wondering why these aren't opening I'll get to that in a second so if we can kind of split this in half, so down the middle, split this in half, so you can kind of see how each side works. So they work, even though they work together, they are independent systems. So they can, one door can do one thing, the other door can do another thing. And I'll show you what those modes and stuff are in a sec. So we can see here that on the side, it's very simple. You have the pneumatic door base. This is what it looks like, um, I'll call it naked, because it hasn't got the camouflage on it. And you can see the arm stretches into the block and actually touches the door. And then out of that you can have the pressure tube going into whatever system you're using for pressure. Uh, once again I'm only going to be using the creative compressor in this one. If you want to learn how to do other um, other compressor, um, compressors and stuff, uh, check out another video. I'll probably do one of those soon. Uh, if not, go check out another video on YouTube. I'm sure there will be some, someone somewhere. Um, but effectively, yeah. And then you've got the pneumatic door in the middle. Um, I've set this to a mode so it works like a wooden door, so if I right click it, it opens. I mean I can walk through, I can leave it open and it won't close uh, at all. And then you can right click it and it will close. So that's one mode. The other mode is when the player is nearby. The other mode um, is very strange, so you've got wooden door, player nearby, and you've got player nearby, nearby and looking. So if I set both of these uh, to be that, uh, there you go, nearby and looking. So what does this do? This means if I'm not looking at the door, so if I reverse into it, it won't open. If I look at the floor, it won't open. As soon as I look at the uh, the door, it opens. But I have to be near it. So if I can't, I can't look at it back here and it open. But if I'm walking towards the door, you can see there, it will open as I walk close to it. Whereas with this door, because it is playing nearby, I can walk in backwards. If, if I walk into the right bit. So that's a slight difference. So they're the three modes. Um, wooden door use, which is effectively your right click. So let me do that. So wooden door behavior. So you can see that an interesting thing just happened. The other door I haven't changed, but it's still, and it's still on the player nearby and looking. But I right clicked on the other door and the other door works. This is what I mean by the independent but they work together. But if I come close to this one, yeah, 
So it's still not, you know, still not moving away. Let me say I close this door. Okay. Now, let's look at this door. So you can see there how these two systems can work in fine tune of each other. So let me close this one. If I look at this door, it's not opening. As soon as I look at this door, it opens. So you can see there, that's how, well that's what I mean by they work. They work together, but they are independent systems. So that's been a very basic look at how the pneumatic doors work in pneumatic craft or pressure craft or whatever you want to call it. If you've got any questions, post them in the section below. I'd love to see how you use these in your base, so please post those onto our Facebook page, uh, Blue Coconut Family, uh, links are on my channel. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you find any other videos in my, uh, uh, set in my channel very useful for you, hit the subscribe button and make sure you're the first person to know when a new video is released. And yeah, I'll see you guys all in the next video. See you later. Bye!